The end of 2015 saw a career highlight for Sweden's Christopher Broberg, who claimed his maiden European Tour victory in China at the BMW Masters. So we thought we'd catch up with him to find out what life is like in the winner's circle. Chris, thank you for joining us. This is the first time we've met you on Golfing World, so let's rewind a couple of years. Back in 2012, you absolutely stormed through the Challenge Tour. Four wins in that year, propelling you onto the European Tour. What was it like having that much success so early on in your professional uh, career? I played really good at Nordic League and had a pretty good season. Won a few times in Nordic League. Then I, my confidence was pretty high. And then I got an invite to uh, finish Challenge or something. And then I... Uh, I won that event, so I'm just, yes, let's go. And then I went to Norway, familiar to Norway, and then I just won in Norway. Played that course a lot of times on the Nordic League, so it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, to win three tournaments in four weeks is pretty unheard of. Just how much confidence did that give you? It must have made you think this winning thing, you know, isn't so hard. Yeah, I got a, a lot of confidence, but the main tour is a different, uh, different level. It's so much tougher golf courses. Yeah. Uh, the course that I went to uh, on was like pretty short, a lot of wedges. So I'm just was pretty hot with my wedges, and mm -hmm. the putter was really hot for those few weeks or months, what do you call it? So moving over to the European Tour, how much expectation did you feel to well to win in your first year? No, it was not uh, expectation. I always got, you know, I want to win every week, but it's pretty tough out here, you know. But you cannot win every week because the players are pretty good, but you can have a bad week as well, but yeah. And before you got that one at the end of last year, which was just terrific, did it get to the point where you were putting so much pressure on yourself to get it? Yeah, because the week before I went to China, I didn't want to go, you know, I was home off to Turkey. I was like, I just want to be home. And then I just, mm -hmm. no expectation at all. And I just go to China, I just find my putter, you know, the short game was amazing that week. So I'm just, and yes, yeah, here we are now. Do you almost think that was the difference? It was the fact that you didn't have any expectation and there was... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because every week I need to, I need to win. My, John, my caddy, just, you, don't, you need to think like different ways. You cannot win every week. You yeah. need to relax a bit. Go. So let's just talk about that win in China because you were so emotional. How much did that mean to you and how did you feel getting that putt? Uh, it means a lot, you know, you work so hard for that win and you just, I'm just happy for like my family to support me all my life and it's, yeah, I'm very, very pleased to win that China. I got, you know, I got no words to say, I'm just so happy to win. When yeah. you were in the playoff with Reed, what was going through your mind at that point? Now, I won, what, two, uh, I won once before in, in a playoff and then he, he hit it to the right, he started the tee. And I got, here's my chance. And if I hit a good drive, I got so much advantage because he got a really tough shot from there. And he hit a fat second shot in the trap. And then I, perfect number with my nine iron. So I'm just, yeah. Looking ahead now, you are around 65th in the world. You're close to that top 50. How much of a priority and a focus is that for you going forward? No, you always want to get better. You know, you need to work hard. All the guys here, out here work, work so hard, so just, you need to play good to get the top 50 in the world, so just, just keep on going on a good track, you know. And looking at the majors, we've never had a Swede win a major yet. Do you think you could be the first one to go over the line? Uh, I wish, I hope so, but I think the first we're gonna win it is Henrik Stenson, I think. Mm -hmm. Because he's a really, really good player. Well, I guess ultimately it all comes down to practice, and I know you are renowned for being the first one on and the last one off the range. Is that something that's always been ingrained in you, do you think? Yeah, when I'm home, it's like that, you know, out early and practice all day long. And, out, and I did the same out here, but it didn't work, so I'm just hitting less balls now mm -hmm. and keeping more focus on the short game. Okay, great. Well, let's go and find your putt. Oh, wow. it's on the green. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Chris, thank you for joining us. Best thank of luck you. this week and the rest of this year. Thank you. He had a career highlight at the end of last year, and there's plenty more to come from this one. It's Sweden's Christopher Broberg.